Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today, we are going to be completing the Quest Eagle's Peak. There are no quest requirements and the stat requirement is simply 27 hunter. Items needed, a yellow die, swamp tar and 50 coins. For the recommended items, because we don't need to fight anything during this quest, just bring along some weed reducing clothing and about 2 stamina potions should be enough. And maybe one rope if you want to complete 3 medium diary tasks. For the teleports, 2 to the Eagle's Peak, which is located just west of the Gnome Stronghold. I will be using the Fairy Ring Code AKQ, but what you could also use is the Necklace of Passage to the Outpost or the Tree Spirit to the Gnome Stronghold. Then also one teleportation method to Varrock or the Rat Pits in Varrock. And then one teleportation method to Ardoin, and one after the quest is completed. So, where to start this quest is here the southern exit or entrance of the Ardoin Zoo. At the eastern quest sign, let's talk to Charlie and select option 1 twice. After we have spoken to him, we will need to make our way to the Eagle's Peak. So, I will be using the fairy ring and the use the code AK. Q, but you can use any teleportation method to your liking. So, once you've made it to the shortcut sign just north of the Eagle's Peak, next to which you should find a camp with a tent and a couple of and a pile of books. Search the books, then you will find a bird book, read it to get a feather, then you may drop the bird book. Next, go to the shortcut sign and if you have 25 agility, try to climb the rocks. Between the two rock slides, you should be able to climb these rocks. If you do not have 25 agility, then you will need to run all the way around and following this mountain path. Next, use the metal feather on the metal outcrop at the end of the mountain path, and this will open the door. Enter the cave entrance, and then run south. At the T-junction, go a bit south and go stand next to the abyss, and the camera should pan towards Nicholas on the other side of the cliff. Keep talking to him and select option 1 3 times. After the conversation is over, next to you will find some giant feathers. Pick up 10 giant eagle feathers. Once you have 10, let's teleport to Varak and let's go to the southeastern part where you can start the family crest quest, as well as where your cat has defeated the king rat during rat catcher's quest, but we will need to go to the hunter store. This is just located south of the family crest quest. Let's talk to Azalif and select option 2. Next, use the giant feathers on the guy, and then select option 1. Once we have our two eagle capes and fake beards, let's return to Nicholas in the Eagle's Peak uh, Cave Mountain. I'll see you back at Nicholas.
All right, once you've made it back to the Eagle's Peak, let's go and enter the Northeastern Cave. Don't go to Nicholas just south, but go to the Northeastern Corner and enter the tunnel. Next, next to you will find a bird seed holder. Click on it and grab six handfuls of bird feed. Once you have six, let's go a bit northwest and you'll find a gap. Just take the first path west and you'll find a gap. Just a bit south, they'll find an eagle lever. Pull it and then run southeast. Run to the southeastern corner until you can't go any further. Here you'll find two more bird feeders. Use your odd bird feed on the most southern one. Next, go a bit northwest and use the bird feed on the second bird feeder. Now that these two metal birds have stopped blocking the way, go east and there you should find a lever in the southeastern corner. Pull that lever and then return west. Let's return west until you see a crossroad. Just a bit southwest of the entrance or exit here at this crossroad, use your bird feed on the bird feeder. The first metal bird will not be able to reach it, reach it but the second one will. After this guy has been unblocked, let's go to that corner and pull that lever. Next, let's go back to lever number one, just next to the gap, just by using your minimap. Now we'll need to pull that lever again. After you've pulled that lever, use your bird feet on the bird feeder just north. And this metal bird will unblock that lever. Run to the other side of the gap and pull that lever. Next, we'll need to go all the way back to that southwestern lever where we have just came from. Once you've made it back to the southwestern corner, do not go to the lever, but just a bit south, they'll find a bird feeder. Use some more bird feed on it. And then finally, for your final bird feed, let's go a bit east, back to the corner where you've already placed some bird feed. Use some more bird feed on it, and because the stone gate has been opened, the northern bird will finally will be able to move, run west, and grab the golden feather. Once you have this, let's exit. This was also the most difficult puzzle, that's why we have a golden feather. Let's exit and go a bit southwest. Keep running southwest until you see another dungeon sign. Not the northwestern one, but just the western one. And enter that tunnel. Just a bit north, inspect the pedestal and you'll find some footprints. Go east until you see some rocks which you can inspect. Inspect them. 
and a bit northeast inspect those rocks and then just a bit more northeast you will find an opening inspect it and a level 13 cabot will spawn you could either kill it or you could just ignore it because it has 15 hp so right click and threaten then select option one and it will give you a silver feather oh we didn't give it to you be sure to pick up the silver feather laying in front of the opening and then you may exit this cave going back to where you came from and then continue running south to get the final feather so south here at the t junction let's take the western path enter the tunnel then in the center of the room try to take from the pedestal but this will trigger a trap in each corner of the room you will find a winch operate all four of them to disable this trap Once we have operated all four winches, take the bronze key from the pedestal and then exit this cave. Just a bit east, you will find a metal door. Use all three of your feathers on this eagle door. Then open the door. Then equip your eagle cape and fake beard. Go a bit north. Click on the giant eagle to walk past. And then let's talk to Nicholas to give him your spare cape and beak. Next, let's walk past the eagle because he wants to speak with you outside. Alright, you can't complete the medium diary tasks as of right now. You first need to complete that quest. So let's complete this quest by going back the way we came from. So let's go back to the northwestern corner. Exit the tunnel, go down the rocks, and there you should find Nicholas. Talk to him and select option 1 twice to trigger a cutscene. Once you have the ferret, let's teleport to Ardoin. Let's go back to Charlie, south of the Ardoin Zoo entrance, to complete our quest. So, congratulations, you have completed the Eagle's Peak quest you are awarded with. Two quest points, 2500 hunter experience, ability to lay box traps, as well as access to the Eagle transport system. So if you were to return where Nicholas was stuck, just go a bit east and you will find a transportation sign. Use your rope on any of the three eagles to complete a medium diary task. The polar one will complete a Fremlic medium one, I think. If you want to go back, just use your rope on the eagle again. And then use your rope on the two other eagles to complete also a Western Provinces Diary, as well as a Desert Diary. By the way, you do not need your fake beak, your cape, or the metal feather anymore. Alright, this was my quick on how to complete the Eagle's Peak quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.